Hello everyone, PokePro here, and I'm going to start a new Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum version. So let's get right into it. Now, the games always begin very boring with the professor telling you some basic introductions that really everyone doesn't give a crap about. No info needed. It's, I mean, if it's your first time, sure, but that's what stuff like a manual is for. And still, it's not that hard to figure out, even if it is your first time. And expect everyone to what be play, po be playing Pokemon at like the age of two. And there's this. It's just dumb. So this boring part, and then it's like, what's your name? Boy, girl, uh, basic, yeah, stuff. Yes, my name. Is Pokey Pro? Nope. And then it's like, here's your friend. What might his name be? Let's call my rival. What's a good name for him? Let me think for a second. friend of mine uh, I don't I can't even think of a name right now uh, sure his name is Pearl why not and it's basically now I finally get to begin moving so you become a midget And it says, blah, blah, no one cares, blah, blah, story part, blah, blah, done. Uh, done. There we go. Actually, I think that may have been a little important. But yeah. Let's just go. Um, yes, I saw the TV, but I really didn't read it because it's really boring. So basically, he wants us to get a Pokemon from the professor that was giving us the really boring intro. And honestly, I don't want a Pokemon that is really from a really introduction basic guy. Good tutorial when he does like fancy do research. I'm surprised he doesn't use more complicated words, honestly. And then... Oh my god, what else do you have to say? Yeah, if you couldn't tell by already, I really hate the beginning, the first town of games. It's just the most annoying... Then you want to head to his house, I guess. Probably. And he crashes into you. I can tell I'm going to hate my rival already. And he's an idiot. Crashes into you and then he forgets something. So I'm just going to follow him into his room. And I... I better get this and this and blah and no one cares. And he's gonna find me 10 million if I'm late. Oh, that's nice to know. Considering how am I supposed to get 10 million? So I better hurry. I don't know how he like has running shoes already. Like, and I don't. Need, I think he's going a little faster than running shoes anyway. Too slow. Oh god, does that mean I have to pay you? Well, oh, too bad. And then... I'm like, I'm not an idiot. Let's not go into tall grass. And he's like, 
It doesn't matter. Trust me. And I'm like, uh, hell no. Um, oh god, whatever you're... I'm still not that stupid. I've tried going on there with a the bike and it's... Pokemon still appear. You could probably go in with the car and like a freaking Pidgey would fly through the window or something. And hold it. Thank you, old guy, professor, for making my friend not as much of an idiot as he could be. Yeah, you're an idiot. He's like... Um... I mean, it's okay, but I don't love them. Yeah, I wish I could say that, but the game kind of makes me say yes. Or else it's kind of just like an endless loop. Oh, why? Why do you have to ask that many times? I truly don't love Pokemon. He's like, that joke's getting old. Oh my god, Sky, he's making me say stuff. Thank you, you're actually being nice for once. Enterprise is like, Enterprise is like, well, it was his idea. Like, that's so what I would do if I was that stupid, but I'm not, so. Blah, 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 just give me my Pokemon. He's like, I can choose first. Basically, he's just doing that so he can choose the opposite Pokemon as me. So when I open this. Okay, this is... Chirtwig, the tiny leaf, Chimchar the chimp, and Piplip the penguin, I believe. Yep. I'm not too sure which one I'll go with. I mean, if I have Ch Chirtwig, he'll have Chimchar. If I have Piplup, he'll have Chirtwig, and yeah, etc. I'm not even going to continue saying that. It's just probably getting confusing as hell. I always like choose a fire. I'm actually going to go with. Water, because I know I want one of the Pokemon I'm gonna catch or might catch is a grass type, so that might help against Piplup. Plus, it's also a steel type when it evolves, so that basically means it's pretty convenient because then fire type moves are normal effective against it, I believe. That's if I remember correctly. And now to head to Sand Jump Town. Alright, that was easy. And I want I want to head to Sand Jump. But he's gonna make me battle him first. Oh, who cares? Who cares about speeches and no one does really he acts like a freaking monkey when he sends out his pip up there I'm just gonna go with my chimchar because I really have nothing else let's so go ahead and you scratch on it if he uses growl okay because of last time I lost not when I was recording at a different time I'm gonna counter every growl he uses with Leer. And whenever he uses Pound, I'll, I'll use Scratch just to make it simpler. Okay, this is gonna take five hours, I can tell right now. We're, I'm just gonna keep on using that move. 
He's just gonna keep on using ground for like an hour, honestly. Okay, if I had used Scratch, I would have had like 8 health left by now, or even less maybe. So I'm just gonna Scratch it for once. Well, that did like nothing. Yeah, Growl is a most annoying move. Especially when you only have one Pokemon left. Or one Pokemon period in this case. And now I'm off, so I have to reuse later. And now he's at a slight advantage. I think he is anyway. It's, if it is, it's very slight. And one of us can still land a critical hit. This is getting annoying. I think I think this is gonna set a record for longest five one on one. For the finest beginning battle. Longest beginning battle, because I don't think it should take this long. Finally, it uses Pound. It means I can use Scratch. Yes, it's an orange. Okay, finally, he started just attacking. He's in red, and as long as it doesn't land a critical hit. I should be able to win this, or if I miss, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Yay! That was closer than I wanted it to be. Let's go home. And then I tell my mom I got a Pokemon. I met Rowan and I my friend's an idiot. <laughs> Yes! I have seen my running shoes! Running shoes! I can go faster! Oh my god, I'm overreacting. I know, but running shoes are so much easier. I don't need instructions, so let me use them already. Yeah, running shoes! Running shoes! Running shoes! Way faster than walking! Oh my god, this is amazing, this is amazing! Alrighty. Yeah, that was a complete overreaction. But, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you all enjoyed. And see you next time. Bye.